Hello, ladies and gentlemen, amazing video game type people, and welcome back! This time, we are going to do one of the best games ever. Sword of the Samurai! Okay, so, this is one of those amazing games in the vein of uh, Sid Meier's early stuff. Um, another amazing game, actually, is uh, Covert Up. Covert Up is very fun. But this one is particularly awesome. He, he really was into the... Uh, I guess as mini games is kind of a good way to put it. Is games made up of a lot of mi mini games, which is why you know you look at Sid Meier's Pirates, uh, amazing, right? Anyways, let's uh, let's get right into it. I definitely suggest if you're first starting out to actually just practice the mini games before you play. Samurai warrior, hi. Uh, let's pick somebody fun. Uh, I happen to like general ship. That looks fun. General ship dueling, eh, something with general ship and land. Yeah, clan Asakura. Okay, let's let's just be Asakura. So the the sun is honor. The little fan next to it is general ship. The sword is sword fighting, and the funky looking thing that looks like an alien is land. Now well, let's be Asakura. And I uh. No Dachi. I've been playing on No Dachi, but I don't really want to for the Let's Play because I find that the battles take ridiculously long. It's very easy to mess up, and I'm just I'm not good enough for No Dachi. Really, is what it comes down to. I can I can beat it. But there's a lot of saving and loading because I just die an awful lot. I could play Katana. Wakizashi would be very easy. Tanto too easy. Wakizashi. Katana. Katana would be hard. Maybe we can play Katana. If you don't mind a little bit of saving and loading, let's play Katana. I think. Shall we? I'm about to. Okay. So we can play Katana, and I love general ship. I love it a lot, but I also like land. My family has vast land. That's going to be the advantage. The tide hastens for no man. Lord Sadamura, the Hatamoto whom you will serve. Welcome you into the rank of his samurai subordinates. He says, Your father served Asakura clan well. I am sure you will live up to his name. Please be introduced to my other samurai. Each rival inspects you closely as you meet him. Hiro Nori is a samurai of great renown. He controls a very large fief and commands 74 warriors. He is known throughout the province as a samurai of great honor. Yasuhira! is a promising samurai who has a very large fief and 60 warriors. He is an aggressive samurai of great honor. Nobukimi is an aggressive samurai of no great distinction and great honor who controls a very large fief and 60 warriors. Huh. You have a vast fief and command 54 samurai. You are known as a warrior of great renown. A Ramazan. Okay, so the controls, you're going to want to read the manual. It's quite straightforward, or at least the technical manual. Uh, the controls F1 uh, takes you to this screen, which shows your competition, essentially. I am super awesome. Look at that. Wow. I'm a Ramazan, samurai of clan Asakura, vassal of Lord Sadamura. I'm youth, and I'm at my estate. One of the really cool things about this game is that you get to um, uh, have kids and continue as your kids if you die. And trust me, you will die a lot. Unless you save scum all the time. Okay. Alt S, by the way. And you have to do it when you're at home, which is, this is the home scroll. So F1 shows us this. Uh, F2 is just a map of Japan. Asai Clan is our current rival, as you can see, because they're yellow. We're the blue. And, uh, yeah, that's fun. Uh, F3, bold deeds available and campaign actions available. That's just quests that essentially you get from your uh, Hatamoto, which is kind of your general or whatever, your leader. Lieutenant, I think is a better word. Uh, okay, and that tells you what everybody else is doing, considering course of action. So, for starters, I, a Ramazan, uh, I want to go take some more land, but that will require more samurai, so... We're going to equip Selecting Loyal Men of Honor and Fierceness. You equip 18 Samurai. As a result of recent events, your standing in the clan has improved. You plan the changes you will make when you become Hatamoto. 
Alright, so you'll see we've gone up quite a bit. And I, for whatever reason, I started out super jacked, so that's pretty awesome. Um, the hats in the middle there, under assets, that's the, uh, that means how many soldiers you have. I guess, you know, they're like peasant farmer hats or something, maybe? I don't know. You are now the clear favorite for the next promotion to Hatamoto. Already the poison of jealousy has begun to spread among your rivals. Now, eventually they will do horrible things to me, depending on their honor, I think. They're pretty honorable, though. How honorable is Yasuhira? Oh, he's, he's pretty honorable. Okay, maybe they won't do horrible things to me. Or maybe I could ensure that they don't do horrible things by kidnapping their family members. Well, let's kidnap. I've decided I'm not going to be a super honorable person. So just travel disguised as a poor Ronin. Okay, let's go kidnap Yasuhira. Aigen of Asai has invaded your fief with a large unit of samurai and claimed your lands for himself. This trespass must not go unchallenged. You return to your estate to prepare to defend your lands. You announce your eagerness for the coming battle. Okay, so even though I was about to uh, go do something awful, I got attacked by our rival. Gathering your faithful retainers, you prepare to defend your lands against the intruders. For the record, this is what, uh, I mean, as many people know, this is the game that, uh, oh, uh, Total War. The Total War series is based off of this game. Uh, because of this, the battle scenes, which are very basic, but still awesome. Okay, use the numbers to select, and then use the plus sign on your, to tell them to turn. Plus sign will actually turn them, otherwise you can use the, uh, oh, what do you call it? So, so plus tells them to turn and move there. Um, the minus sign tells them to just move there, and then the uh, star, the asterisk, tells them to uh, just rotate it on the spot. I think we may have won that without losses, because I'm awesome. Or did we lose one guy? You repel the invaders, but lose four samurai in doing so, Lord Sadamura states. It is good to see a Ramazon perform an honorable act. A Ramazon is a samurai of great honor. Okay, we're going to save the game. I'm just, I'm going to save the game an awful lot. I am playing on a pretty hard difficulty, which means that if I go and try to kidnap, right? Okay, so my honor went up a bit. Cool, cool. Um, if I... See, if I kidnap, like, a wife or something, then that'll lessen the chances of them doing horrible things to me. So let's go to Yasuhira. There we go. Nobukimi has added two samurai. Okay, we're gonna wait until nightfall. And then we're going to take a hostage from the Lord's family. Somewhere within the family of Yasuhira lies sleeping. You intend to find them and spirit one away. Yasuhira will not be so arrogant once you hold a member of his family. Okay, this is terrifyingly hard, and I am playing on a pretty hard difficulty here. Let's give this a go. Boom! It's basically just walk around, uh, walk into doors to open them, press enter to uh, attack, and right now we're looking for a little sleeping lady. Ooh. Wait for it, wait for it. Woo! And you can, uh, if you get close to someone, it becomes sword. They've already rung the alarm, that's totally what that was for the record. Oh, Jesus. Oh, those guys have guns. Those guys have swords. The yellow guys are swords. The green guys have arquebuses or whatever. Ah! Oh, those just keep coming. They're never gonna stop. Oh, this is a lot easier. On the hardest difficulty, a lot of them have two hit points, whereas here, most of them don't have two hit points. Wow, it's it's awesome how playing on a harder difficulty makes the not as hard difficulty easier. Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh oh, we're in trouble. So now we've just encountered. Uh, it is Yasuhira. It seems fate has decreed an encounter between you two. Recognizing you, he bows, then draws his sword. Okay, so I, I should have actually waited till Yasuhira was away from home. I should have checked on that. And then I could have, uh, you know, come and uh, dealt with him without having to worry about running into him by accident. But now we have to duel. 
I think this might count as an assassination then. Okay, dueling is tough, I will explain. I'll try to explain. You hold down enter and the numpad directional keys. And yes, you do use all of them. Oh, and I'm awful right now. That's okay. Um, the backspace key helps you block. You can block, as you can see, left or right. Hi. 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 Oh, no. I let him get in a big hit. Okay, I gotta actually focus on this. I don't want to die. Hi. Once you get four strikes, it makes a little E, then you're dead. Oh, mama. Come on. Come on. I'm going to keep swinging. Usually if you keep swinging, it works pretty well. Oh. Hi. Slice him in half. Okay, I got one in. Hi, mama. Hi. 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 Come on. Run away. I dare you. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> come close. Come close to me. No, you will not come close to me. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Now we're on even grounds, friend. Boom! Sorry that took so long, folks. Normally I'm better at this, but there you go. There is an uproar behind you as Yashiro's body is found, but you successfully escaped without being identified. It was a mighty duel, but none must ever know its full story. Oh, I accidentally killed a guy. That's not good. I feel bad. I think this is the new guy now, it's Kiyomaga. Oh, and he's aggressive. Okay, let's try that again. Except this time... Screw it. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm a horrible person. And I don't want to wait until Sadamura actually dies. <laughs> Which does mean what it sounds like. I'm just gonna go and assassinate Sadamura. While traveling through the country, you encounter a group of thieves. We're just going to avoid trouble, because I'm actually, uh, I'm disguised. If you're disguised as a ronin, then there's no point, because nobody knows it's you. Otherwise, you'd get lots of honor. A strange samurai of surpassing skill has appeared at Lord Sadamura's castle. Oh, small unit of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait until nightfall, then sneak past the guards. You adjust your two swords so they won't clank, then slip down the hall, moving from shadow to shadow. You plan a dangerous deed to assassinate the most honorable Lord Sadamura. Somewhere inside Lord Sadamura sleeps. You must find his room, slay him, and escape without being identified. If a guard sees you, you must steal his tongue by taking his head. Yeah, this is going to be brutal. Now, if I can find him before an alarm is raised, then I just kill him in his sleep. Otherwise... I'm going to have to duel him. 99% of the time, it's going to be a duel. Okay, now that, see, what happens is if it's something like that, then they didn't really fully see you. So he's just going to go come and check. And then you kill him. So there is a little bit of stealth in this game that you can... Oh. Oh, mama. Okay, second floor, I'd almost forgotten. He's going to be on the second floor, so we're doing good. He's going to come check. Oh, he's probably going to come check, too. Uh-oh. No! Ah, I was worried he was going to shoot me. Alright, he's awake. We came close to actually getting away with an assassination. I've never actually, not on these harder difficulties, made it to the guy that I was trying to kill without the alarm being raised. Woo. That's right, run away. Cowards! Oh, this is an awful situation to be in. 
There we go. Come fight me! Oh, Jesus. Okay. No! Oh! oh, God. Yeah, the swordsmen are pretty easy to kill. It's the, uh... It's the archers you want to look out for. And especially the guys with the guns. not know where I am anymore. Those sounds of fighting will, I think, trigger them. Oh. Oh, good. Okay, I love the game. See, this is the thing, is these games are really well made. Oh, mama. Okay, go, go, go. Whew. Don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Yeah? You wanna dance, footy boy? Come dance. No! Oh, mama. Things are getting risky. Okay. Okay, things are getting really risky. Holy mama. Spearman you want to look out for, too. Really, it's everyone. Ah, son of a gun. Come on! Yeah! Bring it! Oh. Oh, dear. Still alive. This is an awful assassination attempt. Holy cow, I think we've killed all his guards though. Eventually they stopped coming. On this difficulty at least. I don't think they ever do stop coming on the really hardest difficulty. It's just brutal. Okay. And one of the things is you really can't mess up. You mess up once and you're in a very difficult situation. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. I hate, I hate when this happens. <sighs> I could have assassinated him if I just walked straight down. There we go. This is a sad moment. As you prepare for combat, you search Lord Sadamura's eyes for anger or contempt, but find only sadness. Your hands tremble as you grip your sword. Lord Sadamura's hands are steady. Okay, this is super epic, so now I'm trying to kill my lord, which is the single worst thing ever. If I fail, my entire family gets killed. Just for the record. It doesn't matter if you have a son. Hi. Hi. Boom. Chop suey. Your lawful lord lies dead at your feet. Your head spins with conflicting emotions. You feel deep shame at having committed such a terrible crime, yet at the same time you feel a joyous liberation. Horrible news! Lord Sadamura has been assassinated, doubtless by a ninja sent by some dishonorable enemy. There is much speculation as to who will step into Lord Sadamura's place. Oh, I know who. Lord Aka Asakura selects you as his new Hatamoto. You accept the honor with apparent gravity, but inside your heart swells with pride. Lord Asakura introduces you to his other Hatamoto. 
You now join the ranks of my trusted lieutenants, he says. I depend on all of you to work together for the glory of a Sakura clan. The other Hatamoto eye you speculatively. Teru Tora is a Hatamoto of great renown. He controls a vast fief and commands 1,230 warriors. He is known throughout the province as a cautious Hatamoto of commendable honor. Nagamasa is a promising Hatamoto who has a moderate fief and 495 warriors. He is a Hatamoto of great honor. Riamon is an aggressive Hatamoto of no great distinction and great honor who controls a moderate fief and 465 warriors. You have a moderate fief and command 240 samurai. You are known as a warrior of satisfactory honor. Message from Nagamasa. My fief is under attack by a moderate group of Asai samurai. I regard this not as misfortune but as an opportunity for glory. Nagas Nagamasa urges all true samurai to join him in crushing the invaders. Cool. So now we've kind of made it to the next level of the game. It was pretty dirty, but it's not a big deal, really. Um, Vazla Vasakura youth. So I'm still really young. I have no wife, which I should kind of deal with because I'm going to want a an heir. But yeah. No, things are going well for us. We're now Hatamoto, which means we're now a lieutenant. We have way more samurai under our control. Um, and now we just want to work our way up to the top and potentially wait until our fellow, uh, you know, our lord dies or, you know, whatever. So I'm going to save it here for now. LP. I got to go to work. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that horrible display of dishonor. And also awesome skill. I'm pretty sure I single-handedly killed up, like, what, 50, 60 guards. Um, I guess I'm kind of just rushing through this game, but, uh, you know, here I'm going to... I started out pretty awesome to begin with, and here I'm going to just focus a little bit more on other things before moving on to become Hatamoto and try to take over Japan. But yeah, it's a really amazing game. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time on Sword of the Samurai! Goodbye.